Hey everybody, happy Friday. Happy Friday the 13th. Yes, today is January 13th, 2023. Friday the 13th. Just got done doing a little thrifting here at uh, Goodwill. Found myself a pretty cool audiobook. Definitely happy about that. Look at the, the back of this card. Captain Spaulding. There's um, Pinhead there. It's does say coexist with the guns? That's interesting. This is a long drive for someone with nothing to think about. Don't tread on me. All right, some interesting stickers on that uh, on that car right there. Awesome. VW as well. But anyway, we're not here to talk about the cars or the, the thrifting I did. Interesting experience walking into this Goodwill. So I'm, I'm out here. I'm, I'm filming an intro for my, my other channel, Cinema Sickness, did a thrifting video inside the Goodwill. And as I'm, as I'm filming, I'm, I'm just about done saying what I wanted to say. And then I'm going to walk inside and, and, do, and do some thrifting. I'm about to get hit by a hit by a car. I shouldn't be doing this in the parking lot. But anyway, as I'm finishing up what I'm saying, these like hipster kids walk by and they just yell, well, they yell the, the P word. That they, they, they called me a, a cat, basically. I won't, I won't use the word. It was, that was really interesting. They just yelled it out loud, like that eh, P word. And I just, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be um, family friendly here and not, uh, not actually say the word, but let's just say it's a, um, it's a derogatory, I guess, term for a female, part of the female anatomy. It's gotten really, wow, it just got really windy all of a sudden. And it's also what they call a cat. <laughs> so that's what they, uh, they just decided to scream at me as I was, I was out there filming. Really weird, really bizarre. Why do people do that? Why, why is it a necessary thing for people to just, to just be rude? I feel like we, we just live in a society. Man, where did this wind come from? I'm, I'm going back this way. I feel like we just live in a society nowadays where just everybody is so rude to each other and people can't just keep comments to themselves. And like, there was no, there was no need for that. Those, I don't know those guys. Those guys don't know me. They don't know who I am. They don't know what I'm doing. I, again, I don't know who they are. I've never had any, any interactions with them before. I've never, I didn't start anything with them. I didn't, I, they, they just decided to take it upon themselves to see somebody outside the Goodwill doing his job, filming, recording himself and just uh, call me a uh, derogatory name because why not? I don't know. Maybe they're just, they're just jealous and I get to do what I, I love for a living. I get to, I get to vlog for a living. I, I get to go to Goodwills and thrift for a living. It's my job. It's what I do. I love what I do. It's my, it's my passion and I've turned my passion into my, my job. So I don't know. Maybe they're just, maybe they're jealous. Maybe they, maybe they do watch me. Maybe they know who I am. I, I know a lot of like resellers and stuff. I think they were actually resellers because I heard them going into the store and they're like, there's nothing in here. They didn't, they didn't do any restocking. I don't know. They, they walked in very quickly and left very quickly. So maybe they were, maybe they were resellers. Maybe they, maybe they didn't like me because they were, they're, they're resellers. Maybe they're upset that I go out to these stores and I, I buy things and who, who knows? At one point, somebody actually took the time. Maybe, maybe Maybe if you, if you guys watch watch my other channel, at one point somebody I don't know who some but somebody in the area actually took the time to make stickers, and they were they were actually derogatory stickers as well with my picture on them, and they stuck them up like in random places inside thrift stores that said something bad about me because I guess they didn't like me for some reason. Again, I don't talk to these people. I don't know these people. I I have literally zero interaction with people while I'm out thrifting, other than my friends who I go out thrifting with. People just for some reason they watch my videos and they. They don't, they don't like it because I guess I, I pick up stuff that they want or something. I, I find cool things and they're like, oh man, I wish I would have found that. I have no idea. Or they're just jealous because again, I get, to, I get to do what I love for a living. I have no idea. But anyway, maybe it was that guy. Maybe that guy who yelled at today, maybe that's the guy who, who took it upon himself to go out and get stickers made up. Like this guy had to actually take the time to design a sticker, to design this logo, and then to to actually make stickers and then he had to go out and put them places like the the time and effort somebody put into this i find that hilarious i always see this kind of stuff as and i, I want to say this to you guys if you're ever picked on or bullied you've won just always remember that you have won the fight already before a, a fight even breaks out hopefully a fight doesn't break out but if if a fight ever happens or before a fight ever happens You've already won. You're upsetting somebody for doing nothing. If somebody's picking on you just for you being you and you haven't done anything, you haven't started anything with them, you haven't done anything bad, you haven't done anything rude, you haven't done anything to actually make somebody le like have a legitimate reason to be upset with you, they just don't like you because you're, you're you, doing what you do and you are who you are. You've already won this battle because you're already ruining this person's life. You've already... You've already upset this person so much just because you're you as a person, because you're awesome as a person, 
you're just doing what you want to do and you're just being who you want to be, you've already, you've already won the fight because you've upset them. You're okay. You don't care about this other person. The, 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 you don't care about the bully. The bully hasn't upset you because they're, they're just dumb people who, they're, they're just a dumb person who, who is upset with you for nothing and they're just, they're, I don't know, they're, they're causing trouble for no possible reason, but you've already won because you have, you have disrupted their life. They, they, they have to come after you. They have to pick on you for whatever reason. Usually, unfortunately, it's because something's bad, something bad's going on in their life. They maybe don't have a, the best household. Maybe they are jealous of you for some reason. Maybe they, they see you having a good time and they don't like that because they're not having a good time. Usually it's something bad in their life that um, is upsetting them. And thus they have to lash out at you because they, they're upset at you for some reason. They're, they're envious of you. They're jealous of you. They're not happy with you for some reason because there's something wrong going on in their life. But just remember that if a bully's ever picking on you kids, if you're watching this, if you're, if you ever picked on in school, you've already won this battle. You've already won because they are upset with you. You're not upset with them. They are upset with you and it's for nothing because they're just simply jealous or because something bad's going on in their life. Maybe try to befriend them. Maybe if, you, if it's possible, if a bully tries to pick on you, maybe try to be their friend. Maybe they need friends. Maybe that's it. Maybe they just have no friends. Maybe they're just not happy. Maybe try to find out what's, what's upsetting them and maybe, maybe make them happy. Maybe, you know, take them out for lunch. I don't, I don't know. Try to, try to be friends with them. I used to be bullied when I was in, in high school. I was, I was the weird kid with the, the, the bright red spiky hair and I used to wear bondage like plaid pants with boots laced up and a leather jacket. I mean, this is not, a, this is a jean jacket, not a leather jacket, but I used to have a leather jacket with pins and patches all over it. I was the punk rock. I was the cool punk rock kid in my, um, I guess I wouldn't say cool, but I was the punk rock kid in my, um, in my high school. So of course all the jocks and whatnot, they used to make fun of me and give me a hard time because I, dr I dressed differently than they did, but it's whatever. Very quickly, I just learned to ignore it and not care about it and to just move on. I used to pretend like they weren't even there. And after I did that, they stopped picking on me. That's, that's also something I can tell you guys is that if, if you do have bullies picking on you, just ignore them. Don't, don't give in to them. Don't try to fight them. Don't, don't get upset by it. Don't, don't say something bad. Don't start something. Just just ignore them. Just keep on walking. Move on. Pretend like you didn't hear them. They yell a derogatory name at you. They call you something bad. You know what? Just pretend like you didn't hear it and just keep on walking. Keep talking to your friends. You, you and your friends are having a conversation and some bully yells something at you guys. Just don't, don't turn around and go, what did you say? What? Huh? What? No, just, just keep on walking. Keep on moving on. Pretend like you never even heard them. I find if you do that, they eventually stop picking on you because they know you don't care and that's uh that's what i did in high school again bullies would would say stuff because of the way i dressed and whatnot and i just wouldn't let it bother me i would just ignore them i'd move on wouldn't even listen to a word they were saying and as soon as i started doing that i found that very quickly they didn't pick on me anymore because they were like oh this guy clearly doesn't care about the fact that we're picking on him because again something bad is going on in our life that we have to pick on him because he dresses differently than we dress so there you go. That's my life lesson for today. I don't know. I don't know how this video got started. I just want to tell you guys the weird story about me walking into the Goodwill and just these random hipster kids calling me, calling me a derogatory name because I have no idea why. Again, I don't know these people. They don't know me. I have never met these people before in my life. They just saw me filming and I guess they didn't like the fact that I was filming. I, I have no idea. They didn't like the fact that I was doing my job, doing what I love and getting paid to do what I love, I suppose. But all right, so just wanted to tell you about that weird, interesting story. On Friday the 13th, I'm, I guess I'm lucky it didn't turn into a fight because, I mean, that would have been, been bad. I don't want to get in a fight. That would have been, been bad luck, definitely. But it was a good luck day today, and I did not get into a fight. They just called me a derogatory name. I did, I did kind of turn around and look at them because I was like, I gave him kind of like a, like a, like a, a what sort of look. <laughs> when I gave him a, a what look, the guy just goes, hey, what's, yeah, what's up? I was like, what? what? I didn't say anything. They just kept on walking. They went into the store. And then as I'm walking around the store, they actually avoided me, which was kind of weird. I honestly thought it's like, are they going to start slipping in the store? But as I'm going through the different lanes in the store, they would like go the other way. And they were like avoiding me. So I don't know what that was about. Again, maybe they just thought, saw that I didn't care. And from that, they were like, oh no, we got to stay away from this guy. He doesn't, he doesn't care. He's not, he's not upset with us. He's not, he's not frightened by us. I have I, I have no idea. So anyway, wanted to tell you the weird story. Happens today on Friday the 13th. Hopefully you guys are having a better, well, not, no, I shouldn't say that. I'm having a great Friday the 13th. I thought something cool. I wanted to pick up at Goodwill. I'm happy about that. 
I don't care about the, the bullies. I, my, my Friday the 13th so far has actually been pretty darn good. I'm gonna have to go get myself some Burger King. I'm, I'm happy today. So hopefully you guys are having a great Friday the 13th. Hopefully your Friday the 13th is turning out as well as mine is, knock on wood. Hopefully you guys are having a great Friday the 13th. I hope it turned out well for you guys. And if, again, if you guys are being bullied, I know it's this turned into a kind of anti-bullying video somehow, but if you guys are being bullied, again, yeah, just, just realize you already won the fight. They're upset with you for you doing nothing at all. It's something bothering them in their life. It's not you, it's definitely them. You've already won this battle. Just ignore them, keep on keep on going your way, keep on doing what you do, keep on being happy with yourself and loving yourself and loving your friends and your family, and just having a great time doing what you love to do. Always do what you love to do. Never change for anybody. Never let anybody else bother you or bring you down or tell you what to do or try to change who you are. Just be yourself and ignore the bullies. Just. Go on with your life, just ignore them. And if you ignore them, chances are in time, they'll start to ignore you as well, which is, which is good. Or if you can, like I said, maybe try to befriend them because that's always a good thing. Maybe they need some friends. But all right, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. My P, the, the, the cinema, the, 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 I was gonna say Cinema Sickness. That's my other channel, Cinema Sickness. The Retro Rest Stop PSA for the day. We should, we should start doing that. The PSA for the day. All right, I'm losing my mind now. It's the pain fumes. If you guys watch the video when I'm in there, if you go to my other channel, watch the video. They're, 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 they're redoing this Goodwill and they're painting in there. And the pain fumes in there are insane. I think they've actually gotten to me and they're, they're definitely affecting my, my brain right now. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. So as always, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month for on the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself Retro Rest Stop t-shirts. Proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do you get help putting gas in Vanabelle and in Pumpkin here so we can come out to interesting places that I can give you guys the PSA for the day. All right, thanks for watching. Happy Friday the 13th. I'll see you guys next video. If you hit the like button and you hit that subscribe button, if you guys do subscribe or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.